Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today I'm going to show you the uh, efficacy of using a, a jQuery plugin, it's called the Hover Pulse plugin. Alright, uh, let me straight away start off with my local site folder. Uh, I have an images folder and a JS folder. Let me open up the images folder for you. So as you can see that uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six images that I'm using out here. And if I have a peep inside the JS folder, you'll notice that I have the main jQuery file, which is jQuery 1.8.3.min, uh, uh, which is the minified version that you can download from uh, uh, jQuery.com. All right. And uh, then you have another file, which is uh, jQuery uh, pulse uh, plugin. And uh, you can acquire this file from http colon forward slash forward slash jQuery dot dot com forward slash hover pulse. And this is really amazing. Uh, let me prove my point. Let me open up uh, the resulting HTML file. Uh, let me open it up. Let's say with the Adobe Fireworks. Let's see how it actually looks. Just coming up. Uh, Uh oh, what is this? <laughs> I don't know. Let me let me uh, try again. This time, let me try Google Chrome. All right. So uh, as you can see, these are the these were the six pictures that were lying in my uh, local site folder, but out here they are uh, condensed. But uh, have a look uh, as I hover over the respective pictures. Uh, they uh, grow and shrink uh, back to their original size on a hover and when I move over move off they are reset back to the original size right so uh, this idea can be taken uh, forward uh, to a photo gallery as well if you so wish right so I'll show you how to actually create this grid and this effect and it, it's, it's really a breeze people it doesn't take too long to do it at all just you just need to do uh, your calculations well right um, let me tell you that the images that I'm using out here are 128 by 128 PNG images right and let me open up Dreamweaver for you all right so uh, people I'm gonna show you how this was actually constructed in a separate new file so I'm gonna say file new right let me choose uh, HTML one column fixed centered layout so basically no layout at all oh, oh I think I made a mistake here so that's file new uh, none actually yep I wanted to select none all right let me change the title up and uh, then save it so I'm gonna call it J query uh, hover Pulse plugin. That's exactly what it is. Very, very effective, people. So let me save the file up. So let me call it uh, plugin. Right, keeping things uh, short and simple. Right. Uh, again, uh, let me say that again the first jquery file which is this one right you can get it from jquery.com let me uh, show you how so let's just open up uh, jquery.com right once you're there uh, you just need to click on the download jquery button and uh, this is the way the file will open up right click anywhere and say save as and just save it wherever you want it uh, in my case I've saved it in my local site folder in yet another folder called JS cool okay and uh, as far as the second uh, plugin the plugin is concerned you can get it from jQuery miles up.com hover pulse right that's it okay now once you have both the uh, jQuery uh, files ready uh, you need to link to them 
and I'll tell you how easy it is. So just the opening script tag, script tag, right? The source attribute, and you need to browse first to the uh, main jQuery file, which is 1.8.3 minified, the latest jQuery um, at the time of uh, making this tutorial. Cool, and uh, then I need to have the uh, type attribute out here it's gonna say that the type is a text JavaScript file right then I need to close the script tag I need to have yet another script tag open out here and uh, script the source this time is the plugin the jQuery plugin which is jQuery Hava pulse right the type is the same it's again um, text JavaScript right and let me close it up like so cool let me save it up again all right uh, next up people uh, inside the opening and the closing body tags let me insert a div right give it an ID of uh, thumbs right so which I'm yet to define and let's close it up here <coughs> okay inside uh, this div thumbs I need to have uh, several other divs so opening div uh, and a closing one out here. Let me copy it uh, six times. So two, three, four, five, six for the six images. That's the way it actually goes. Okay. Next up, people, let me define this ID thumbs. Okay. So let me click on this new CSS rule button. Uh, I'm gonna uh, make sure that it's an ID which indeed it is and uh, it's getting saved inside uh, this document it's basically an internal or an embedded rule which is again fine the name auto populates which is just okay which is just fine uh, let me say okay and the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the box category <coughs> since the images that I'm using is uh, 128 each all right uh, but uh, the thumbs are gonna be a lot smaller they're gonna be 64 so let's do a little bit of calculation let's bring the calculator up and let's do the calculations so that's 64 into 3 in a row that's 192 plus 12 pixels for the padding that's 204 okay that's the figure that I need so 204 pixels out here uh, to accommodate three uh, thumbs of 64 pixels each and one pixel the padding on either side okay height I'm gonna set it to auto right now these calculations are pretty much are gonna change for your pictures your thumbs cool and uh, yep so that's it so 204 is the width uh, the height is auto cool next people what I'm gonna do is uh, in each and every uh, separate div that we have out here I'm gonna drop in uh, my six pictures so I'm gonna take them one by one here was the first one I'm gonna skip the alternate text for now here we drop the second one okay uh, click the refresh button out here I'm gonna drop the third one all right out here I'm gonna drop the fourth one and the fifth one goes out here beg your pardon right and in the last div I'm gonna drop in the last one cool uh, now let's have a look how things actually look like right now in the browser let's let's uh, open up open it up in uh, Adobe 
Firefox. S sorry, just Firefox. The browser Firefox, which usually takes a long time to come up. Okay, this is the way uh, the pictures are aligned at the moment, but I actually wanted a grid. So what do I do? Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to create a class, and uh, this class, so I just need to drop down the contextual to a class and call it a thumb, alright? I'm going to call it thumb. Again, I'm going to create, uh, only for the purpose of this tutorial, an internal or an embedded rule, thumb, okay, and uh, our chair. I'm going to choose a size of 64 each. 64 is going to be the width. 64 is going to be the height. Okay, as well as um, one pixels of padding all around. Mm. And a border too. So that's solid thin rather let's let's keep it 1px of white border okay let's say all right at the same time I would want all these uh, images to be 64 each so I'm gonna drop down the width and height to 64 each okay notice the way I do it I select the picture making sure this padlock or the lock is uh, you know it's, it's locked out here so you know the width and the height are constrained or, or move down together or move up together so that's 64 each for the third picture as well so that's a 64 64 64 and for the last one 64 as well okay at the same time uh, for this uh, class that I'm creating, I wanted the float to be a left, and let's say okay. All right, uh, let's have a look how things look like right now in the browser. It's coming up. <coughs> Excuse. Okay, now um, although I've, I've created this class uh, thumb, I've not applied it to the six different divisions out here. So what I'm going to do is let me select the first div up like this and change the class to a thumb. Okay, so this becomes a thumb as well. So a thumb as well for the third one. And notice how you know things are uh, other images are aligning themselves now. So that's a thumb, and for the second last picture, it's a thumb as well. For the last picture, uh, the class is a thumb as well. Okay, so you can see the grid forming uh, very well now. Let's have a look inside Chrome this time. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> All right. <coughs> cool. Uh, so we have this nice grid up uh, out here. Uh, next people I would want to have a background for the body so I'm gonna go out here uh, modify and for the background color I'm gonna choose this color let's say okay and uh, let's have, let's have a look up uh, look in the browser now so all very cool people uh, so we have a nice grid and uh, uh, the six thumbs placed inside basically the pictures are 128 uh, pixels each but I've dropped them down to 64 for the thumbs okay uh, there's one more change that I'm gonna make uh, let me get this uh, let's open up thumbs ID uh, where, where it says uh, I go to the box category and let's set the uh, top margin to let's say 200 the uh, right to auto and the left to auto as well. This will center up the div left to right and displace it from the top. Okay, so we'll be able to see it much better. Let's have a preview up in Google Chrome this time. Okay, so uh, there's this nice little grid that we have, people. Okay, cool. Uh, and in the end, uh, we just need to write out a small script uh, that will apply the hover pulse uh, 
you know JS file to it the plugin that is okay so what I'll do is just below the uh, the script tag in line number seven uh, but above the opening style tag I can place it anywhere in the head of the document actually uh, but obviously below the uh, you know the both the JavaScript files so I'm gonna say script and uh, again the type out here which is text JavaScript okay uh, let me close the tag up out here like so and then uh, I'm gonna say when the document is ready and the way to do it is the uh, you write it this way so you say document ready okay so whenever uh, the document is ready uh, I need to fetch or grab the selector which is this so I would write it this way I'm gonna fetch the div with the ID thumbs right and I'm gonna focus on uh, the images inside it right so all the images all the six images inside it so yep that's it and once I, I fetch these images I'm gonna apply the custom plugin which is hover pulse and this is how you do it so hover pulse that's the name of the plugin parin parin semicolon and I think I'm done let's let's have a look inside the browser chrome just coming up now all right so uh, people as you can see uh, that I'm getting the desired result that I've been waiting for so on a mouse hover when I hover over these different pictures okay I can see that they uh, grow and shrink uh, when I mouse over and mouse out respectively so pretty cool isn't it guys uh, now I'm gonna pass in a few parameters and show you f how we can actually further customize this so I can go out here between the uh, empty parenthesis and have a you know empty curly braces like this and then uh, let me pass in the uh, size attribute and make the size equal to a 32 now I'll tell you what size does what size actually does is it grows the picture on uh, all the sides by 32 pixels so um, yep and then put a comma out here and then say pass in the speed uh, attribute and I'm gonna make sure let's say the speed to be uh, a 200 milliseconds that is and uh, let's see how things look like right now so 32 by 4 is actually 128 so when I said it'll grow in all the four directions by these many pixels so the um, on hover we'll actually get the original size which is 128 each so let's see if uh, I'm right so let's save the changes to the plugin and uh, let's have a look inside the browser all right absolutely all right so uh, now the thumbs which are 64 uh, each are uh, expanding to 128 each because they're growing uh, 32 pixels on all the four sides so 32 32 32 32 so that's that's uh, you know it's, it's growing up to uh, 128 pixels so that's that's pretty cool all right so people I, I uh, hope you learned a lot from this tutorial enjoyed it too and before I sign off I'd like to make sure that everything is uh, working fine in IE as well because usually that's the culprit so we'll have a check on the cross browser compatibility too right okay no issues at all so you see uh, a very effective plugin people and uh, I hope uh, you'll keep coming back uh, for more tutorials from me. You have a good day, guys. Bye-bye. Peace.